Hi, so this is a Hyperopia update video and this is how things have progressed since uh, I last got my bifocals. Um, I wear these quite a lot. These are working out really, really well um, for me, especially um, it, it is just completely helpful um, to have distance when I need it and close when I need it. Um, sometimes the close is a bit too close um, and also I really squint very heavily um, especially if it's sunny in these um, because these are my normal uh, distance glasses they're Polaroids I really really need them but uh, I elected uh, to try without uh, because when I got the bifocals, I wasn't entirely sure how they would work out, so I decided to keep it very, very simple. Um, I do have a glaze on them uh, for reading. Um, that actually works quite well. Uh, so my glasses during the day are as follows. Uh, these are my plus 12s. Uh, they're the first things I put on in the morning and the last things I put on at night and it's just to like relax my eyes into the day or to let them wind down at the end of the day a bit. Um, so I just have them on say half an hour at the end of each day. Um, now I do use these if I'm reading on my phone. I can use uh, my bifocals but I still find that because uh, you get glued to the screen a bit and so if I'm doing anything intense on the phone or the computer I prefer these um, because they're a bigger plus um, and because this bit is occluded then the strain on my left eye isn't so great. Um, I do have prisms on the uh, reading part of my bifocals, um, but I don't. I don't want to push it. I do have a strabismus. It is a lot better, um, but I've had enough problems with it, so I don't want to create any more. And this, um, if I'm, you know, having to read a lot especially with a screen, this does take the worst of the stress off. Um, but if I'm just putting my head down, um, maybe to read the newspaper for a bit or something, these are actually fantastic. Um, now I, I use these when I'm out and um, to be honest, even indoors, um, I do need them. Um, because lights can be, lighting can really be harsher than uh, you would think. Um, so I'm actually pretty nicely set up now. Um, I, I do still squint quite a bit. I'm not there quite yet. Um, I, I did have to have my first readers readjusted. I've done a video on that because they weren't strong enough. And now I've got them a little bit too strong. Um, and that's that's okay because I would rather have them a bit too strong and then be able to work backwards um, really so I don't have to put up with, with eye strain. Um, so I'm finding I have to come a little bit closer to the page uh, so I don't have the best posture when I'm reading but that said um, this is you know the best it's ever ever been for me um, so I went in I mean this is this is a little aside I went into the optician uh, to get my prescription uh, because I'd, I'd rather order a cheap pair on online which are just uh, 0.25 diopters uh, um, less
just to try out, see if it works. Um, and also, I don't want to keep going back to the optician over small things. So I just really want to go if there's something that I need noted down, like, um, you know, a change in my prescription or like when I went to get uh, my, you know, to be um, assessed for dry eyes and to get that documented. So any documentation, uh, yeah, um, I've been to the optician for that. But any little adjustments, um, I'm I'm inclined to to send off and just just try a cheap pair and see if that that works. Uh, so the hope is um, because these the new readers they're half a diopter stronger than the old ones I had. So if I just have them. Uh, a quarter of a diopter lower, then hopefully uh, that midway point that that should be perfect. Um, so I do have a little bit of a gripe um, when I went into the optician to to ask for my prescription, and uh, I got my prescription. That that was perfectly fine, but when I looked at it. Um, I could see that it was just plus two for the readers. Um, now that that is standard um, to have, you know, plus two on top of your regular prescription. Um, but obviously, I knew it was more than that because I'd asked for stronger ones. Um, so I had to go back to the desk and say, "Look, this um, prescription, th this isn't quite right." And uh, the lady was saying, no, no, it's plus two on your readers, uh, plus two for your readers. It says that it's normal. And we had some back and forth, back and forth. And I said, I, I know these are stronger than what is written down in, in the prescription. And eventually um, one of the other ladies who'd been watching said, oh, yeah, we wrote that down, but we didn't actually um, put that you know, we didn't write it down properly. We just put that down as an addition. And uh, that that is kind of, they hadn't put it in the main prescription. Um, and I wish they had of because um, it meant that there was a breakdown of communication um, when I was at the desk uh, with the lady. Um, and that that really could have been better catalogued and better communicated. And the reason I'm picking up on this is because th this is where things go wrong at the optician. It's kind of smaller things like this and obviously bigger things as well. Um, but this is something that could have been avoided, the interaction could have been, been smoother and uh, but we got to where we needed to be in the end so all is good. So um, I've just actually ordered these glasses now so it's just, just to wait and see. Um, I've ordered them, um, I haven't ordered bifocals, I've just ordered uh, plain reading glasses. I have ordered them with a glaze on um, because uh, if I'm going to be using the computer then I think that will actually help and especially because I mean paper these days is really quite white and shiny um, and if if it's glossy as well and you've got uh, bright light shining on it. Um, so I think a glaze actually is a good idea. So it's just to wait and uh, see see what happens, if they work out or not. Uh, yep, yeah, so yeah, please like and subscribe and hope to see you in the next video.